Yo guys, what's going on? Burke Crown 88 and it's Tuesday. And what is Tuesday? Tuesday is content day. We're going to see what kind of new cards we get. Seth Jones is out and who is in? What can we do to have fun with it? Let's find out. But it's time to get cooking and see what we got. EA, what did you give us? Let's find out. I hope you do enjoy it, boys. Well, let's dive into it. First things first, Seth Jones is out, guys. If you didn't get it done, I'm sorry. There was a lot of games, I do agree. But what did we get to replace Seth Jones? We had to have gotten something. We had to have gotten something, right? And we got, ooh, 99 Danny Heatley, 99 Alfredson, and 99 Wade Redden. Okay. And we got 99, 98 Stutzel. Okay, we got some good Nations of Hockey cards. And we got some Detroit Elites hitting the 98 category. And then weekly mode updates. Okay, complete the weekly objectives and moments to acquire these players. So you get all of these players. Okay. That's new. So instead of getting 195 guys, we're getting a 95, 93, and a 90. That could, that could help any team out with power up collectibles or turning them, helping turn them in to make more cards. Whatever you're looking to do, this could be a really big one. Let's see what they want us to do to get them done. And then a quick peek at the store to see what we've got in there. You know, why not? Because it looks like we've got something, a mini daily content pack for 300 thousand coins one random player from daily content release that's uh that's a big one that's a big one unfortunately being non-tradable i'm not a big fan of that but that's a big one and then an ultimate pack for a hundred thousand coins 80 80 pluses and then elite player packs 10 cards all players 8 80 pluses for 37 5 if i'm going to be completely honest with you it's only a 10 percent chance of uh, an 86 and this one's a 40 percent chance of an 86 and we know what ultimate packs are like but if i'm going to be honest with you i'd rather three of these than one of these 30 pulls more more 80 pluses take that as you will but there we go there's the store packs let's see what the objectives are now and then we have to look at the night then the new detroit and the new uh ottawa cards because they look dynamite rookie camp we've already completed one of the rookie camps you'll love to see it 93 zetterland I get out of completing the rookies. Okay. So just daily logins, complete a set, win nine faceoffs in any game mode. So you can go into rush or you can go into like moments on rookie and just win faceoffs that way. Stick checks in any mode, body checks in any mode, shop blocks with any player in any mode. The, this isn't bad. I like this. This is easy. It's not too taxing. And you have seven days to do it. Goals, assists, all the above. Okay. Now, what is Trevor? more trevor moore is going to be just like the past ones we've had which is okay you know buy a pack buy a card from the auction house and you get an 80 trevor moore which you're going to do things with to get the 95 but then you're going to by doing things with the trevor moore you get a, a random la king so you got trevor moore doing things and la kings getting deeks and hits and then la kings getting passes and shots okay i wonder why they didn't use a, a leaf for trevor moore but either way there it is there so trevor moore is actually pretty straightforward this one this one's not too bad you buy something from the auction house just buy a jersey or anything and then you get trevor moore and then you also get an la kings player just for getting a point with more this this is easy this is very obtainable and then also the zetterland is very obtainable as well so that's two very good positives now there was also a 90 in there if i had to guess that 90 is going to be in moments. Let's find out. Go over to weeklies. Scroll all the way down. And there he is. Brett Leeson's 90 overall in the moments. And all-star pro, semi-pro, and rookie. So very easy. You could even, while you're doing these moments, getting the stuff done to complete Zetterland. Because it was any mode, right? So this could be a good way of getting Zetterland if you guys, uh, if you want them. A 90 and a 93 for doing a set of moments could be very good. And then daily logins, of course. We got Hut Elite starting with Dylan Larkin. Of course, 99 speed, but he's got Make It Snappy, Born Leader, and Tape to Tape. With the AP being cranked up so much, you could literally try everything out on this card and see how much fun it is. But this card is pretty much 99 across the board, and what is not 99 is pretty close. So this Dylan Larkin's a good card. And Sid Abel, not 99 speed, but... Beauty backhand, born leader, close quarters, a lot of good stuff. 5'11". If you're building like a Detroit theme team or maybe like a retiree theme team or even a hot elite team, he'd be pretty good for your third 
to fourth line and i mean this time of year let's have some fun let's see some cool teams guys and then this here's a fun one lucas raymond five foot 11 99 pretty much everywhere that matters 99 shooting 99 hands almost 99 skating except for that 90 endurance but it's okay and then he's got 99 everywhere else that kind of matters for the the winger that he is and he's got tape to tape make it snappy unstoppable force okay okay and then synergies that you could probably boost up some of the stuff that's not 99 but this card looks like it'd be good and fun this is something that i'll never be able to say or get behind but like it's late in the year so if you want to use terry saw chuck go after him get him and have a fun time but a 511 goalie is something that i will never ever recommend but here he is if you want to take that ride and have that fun all right and we got kozlov who is five foot ten left-handed shot 99s again everywhere it's what they are guys but the abilities is what we're looking at make it snappy tape to tape and puck on a string elite edges and unstoppable force would be great and because like i said the ap is so high you don't have to be so picky on what you want you could really stack out a couple of lines to try out ap's to see what you want to maybe get into for next year if the ap system is the exact same then the larry on off here we go five foot nine tiny but a demon he could be massive out there good looking card good endurance good good everything and he's got unstoppable force quick draw tape to tape and puck on a string i like this card and uh again he'd be fun this is really detroit heavy obviously it's detroit hut elites but it would it's really detroit heavy so it's for the fans of those teams right or those players and trust me i'm not saying anything against events that bring in complete team locks because i've had my fair share of toronto and i will not argue it you got if you're gonna get a ton of toronto cards you got to accept the fact that you're someday not gonna get toronto cards but it's been very fun doing these blocks of teams because it allows people to make fun teams and then we got daniel alfredson coming with mega snappy born leader backhand beauty and crazy stats across the board because he's a 99 but this Daniel Alfredson looks fun, and it's a good ad this time of the year. Mr. Danny Healy, what's going on, buddy? He comes with gold, make it snappy, which I love. Tape to tape, 1T, puck on a string, elite edges, and unstoppable force. I feel like this card would be a monster if you just stacked them right across, filled in every single ability, and just had fun with it. And then Wade Redden, I really wish he had quick pick, but, I mean, thunderclap, thunderclap. 1T elite edges, send it, shut down, all very good. All will be fun. He's six foot two, he's 99, almost everything. He 95 accuracy, 97 passing, but it's all so it's all such a tiny gap. 95 to 99 is such a tiny gap that it's nothing worth saying. It is literally this is a 99 card. Have fun with them if that's something you want to do. So I love it, guys. We got more cards and we got more free cards that you can go out and earn and play through this event, and they're always fun. Right? They're always fun. When you can go and earn stuff to make your team better, or if your team's solid and you just need power-ups for maybe MSPs to help you make one of these new Captain 99s, then you can go out and get some of this stuff done to turn these cards in for power-up collectibles to power-up MSPs to help yourself make some of these fun 99s. Like Mark Messier, who I'm having a blast with. Joe Sackick is very good on the wing. And then Steven Stamkos. Well, he's there. He's there. He's definitely underperforming for me, the other two. But I you know, prefer shooting with lefties over righties. I can shoot with righties and I'm good with righties, but I always feel like I'm always passing off the righty. So maybe Steven Stamkos isn't just standing out as much as I want. But thank you guys for watching this video. Here's the Tuesday content. I hope you loved it. And leave in the comment section down below how excited you are for some of these cards. And until next time, ciao, ciao.